Hello, I'm Amelia and today I'm going to show you how to print using these things, toilet roll tubes. Okay, and it's amazing what you can do with, with a bit of paint and some toilet roll tubes. And what, what I'm going to do today is I am going to make this picture, which is printed purely with toilet roll tubes. Now, there are lots of different techniques I've used with the toilet rolls that have made this picture up. So I'm going to reproduce it now and show you all of those different techniques so that you can try the same at home. Okay, you can also use a uh, kitchen paper tube and if you've got rolls of wrapping paper at home they might have long cardboard tubes in the middle that you can use as well. So what else do we need? We need paint obviously okay paint on flat surface something that you don't mind getting paint on that you can wash it off again afterwards okay so I've got a tray here that I've put my uh, some of my colors on already we've got our paper towel uh, which we'll be using for blotting our brush okay so you need a brush and to clean your brush you'll need a jar of water a water pot all right, scissors, shouldn't hold them that way. Always hold scissors like that. That's the safe way to hold scissors. We need scissors for this project. Okay, very important. And we also need one more thing, which is some tape. Now I'm using masking tape. I prefer it, but you can use sellotape. Um, either works fine. Now, with some of the bits that we're going to print with our toilet roll tubes, uh, we can get away with cutting them in half, which might be useful if you're not, uh, if you haven't got a big box of the things, uh, which I imagine you probably haven't. So I am going to start by cutting my first toilet roll tube in half, because then I can use it for two different things. All right. So cut that in half okay so now I have two and I'm gonna make the sunshine that you can see in the corner here my little sunshine my little smiley sunshine we're gonna make her first okay or him could be either so the first thing I'm going to do with my toilet roll tube is snip it I'm gonna snip about a centimetre or half an inch or something like that in around the edge of my toilet tube and then what you can do once you've done that is you can splay these out and all of a sudden you end up with something that looks a little bit more like the sunshine Okay, like my sunshine, not the actual sunshine, because the actual sunshine we don't look at, do we? Because it's too bright. So I've done that, but you can see that those bits are a bit square, aren't they? So we need to kind of make them a little bit more kind of pointy. Okay, so I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut each one of those square bits until they are the right shape for the sunshine okay and then see that that looks much nicer doesn't it much more like sun's rays now that I've got that I can dip it in my paint okay so I've got my yellow paint here for my sunshine and I'm just going to dip it go round and round and round until all of those I'll call them petals. No, I'll call them rays. That's the sunshine, isn't it? We'll call them rays. But we are going to use it for a flower later, so it'll be petals then. So you can now see that I've got some yellow paint on all of those bits. That's looking quite nice. So now I'm going to print it. I'm going to put it down onto my paper. Should have said, it's fairly obvious, you need paper for this. <laughs> okay, sorry, I missed that one out at the beginning, didn't I? Okay, I'm going to put my sunshine down, I'm going to press it down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my finger and I'm just going to press down on each one of those 
sun's rays, press it down just to make sure that the paint goes onto the paper nicely. I'm going to take it away. As you can see, I have something resembling the sunshine you can see in the background. But I want to just make it a little bit more defined than that. So I'm going to use the other end, just the, the round end, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit more paint with the round end. You can see probably just about there's a little bit of paint on there. And I'm just going to print that on top in the middle of the sun. And this is going to get your hands all messy because, of course, you've got paint on the other side as well. So I've now got a sunshine on my hand as well. So there we go. Okay, excuse me, okay, put that down. This is where your damp cloth comes in handy. Did I mention the damp cloth? Probably not, you need a damp cloth. <laughs> All right, so now I have my sunshine. Oh, no I don't, he needs a face. She needs a face. I'm not gonna use a toilet roll tube for this. I'm gonna use the end of my paintbrush. And I'm gonna give him or her blue eyes. So I'm just dipping the end of my paintbrush into my paint and then onto the paper. All right, use my damp towel, damp cloth just to wipe that off. He or she has little nostrils. You know what your nostrils are? They're these things, the things that you breathe through on your nose. And we have two of them. So she's going to have two nostrils. One, two I'll show you in a minute all right and she's going to have a little red mouth I think my sunshine is definitely a she because I keep saying she don't I so I'm going to give her a little red mouth and she's going oh hello sunshine right so there we go we have a sunshine now what we need next is a tractor. And there is our tractor. And with this one, we need a whole toilet roll tube. We're going to squish it. Squish it in half. All flat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the tractor shape. Now this is a bit tricky. What we've basically got to do is cut a quarter circle. We might need some grown up help with this. A quarter circle out of both of the bottom corners. I'll hold this up in a minute. All right. We need a big one on one side and a little one on the other. Okay, so if you're trying to do a tractor with me, then this is where we start, okay? All right, now, what shape are tractors? Well, I can refer to my picture. I think that's probably an adequate shape for a tractor. It looks like a tractor to me, so I am now going to cut the rest of that shape of the tractor into my tube, my flattened tube. you can see now that's looking a bit more like a tractor body isn't it not got a window though and this could definitely be for grown-up help on this bit because I'm going to cut a hole into the part where the window is by sticking my scissors through and then I'm going to cut a window shape out of that. There we go, I think, just about. Here we are. There. And we have our tractor shape. Okay. This is where the paintbrush comes in. All right, so for this bit we're going to use a paintbrush. We're going to take our red paint. You may not have a red tractor, of course, you might have a green tractor or a yellow tractor or any colour you like tractor. And I'm going to paint my red paint all over 
one side of my tractor body. And you'll find probably that your paint might kind of absorb in a little bit. It might kind of soak into the, the cardboard a bit when you do your first coat. So get it covered and then maybe get a little bit more paint and just go over the top because we need to make sure that there's enough wet paint on here that we'll be able to take a print from it because it's all dried and soaked into the cardboard there won't be any for us to use for our print okay so that's my red brush in the water jar to uh, to clean up and i have my red tractor body and i'm going to print that down i'm literally pushing it down giving it a good press with my thumb all over Around there, make sure that all the paint transfers. Not totally perfect, a little bit of a little bit of texture going on there, but never mind. Can't win them all. I think that looks all right. And now we're going to do a tractor tire. So I'm going to take the other half of my toilet tube that I started with in the first place. And I'm going to do the same thing again as I did with the sunshine, but if you remember when I very first did it, before I made it look like the sun's rays or maybe the petals of a flower, it looked a little bit more like a tractor tyre. Can you remember? I'll show you in a minute because I'm doing the same with this one. But these bits aren't quite so big. I've made slightly shorter cuts. A little bit closer together okay and this time it looks like that okay that's my back tractor tire all right so same thing again I've got some sort of dark gray black colored paint here that I'm just dipping it into exactly the same way that I did with the sunshine Checking to make sure that I've got it covered with paint. Don't want too much on there. It's difficult sometimes to get the right amount. You don't want it to go splat, but also you don't want it to be leave too many blank bits missing if you've not got enough paint. So there we go. That's my tractor tire. I'm going to print him. Down. I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the sunshine. I'm going to push down on each of those little bits that are sticking out that I've got the paint on so that they get squished onto the paper and the paint comes off. Okay, so we have a tractor tyre. And I'm going to do the same thing again as I did with the sunshine with the other side. Uh, I'm just going to put my clean circular end of the tube into the paint like that just to get this is me being a little bit of a perfectionist just to get a actually I've made a bit of a mess of it to be honest but there we go I'm just going to wipe my hand and show you I've got I've got a circle inside there just to neaten it up except I've made a little bit of a mess of it as you can see but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter now you can see it's not looking exactly the same yet as this back wheel on here, but we'll come to that in a minute. So next we've got to make a front wheel, but the front wheel is smaller than the back wheel, isn't it? Tractors have big back tyres and little front tyres. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another tube and I'm going to cut long ways down it. Okay. All right, so then we've got, we've flattened it out. Well, we don't want to flatten it out, but you can see that it's opened up. All right, and I'm going to cut just over halfway, I think, so that I've got a smaller piece. And I'm going to make myself a new, narrower tube. And that is where my uh, tape comes in. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to roll this over 
like that. A bit tricky, a bit fiddly. You can always ask a grown up to help. There we go. All right. Cut the last bits of the overlapping bits of the tape off. Okay. Now I have a little mini tube. I'm actually going to cut this one in half as well. Okay. So if you're doing the same as me, if you do the same and cut this in half, you'll see why in a bit. Because I'm going to save half of it for something else in a minute. All right, so I've got my mini tube. I'm going to do exactly the same again as I just did for the back tire, but with this one because we're making a smaller tire for the front of the tractor. All right, so I've done my snips and now I'm splaying them out. And we've got a little front tire. Same thing again, dipping it into my paint, making sure I've got enough on there, but not too much. And then I'm going to print my front tire, my front wheel. And you can see. So wait a minute, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to press all the bits down again to make sure all that paint transfers onto the paper. And you can see, I didn't say, but um, I'm printing my circles, my tyre circles, into those cut-out bits that we made on uh, the tractor body. All right. And yes, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to use the round end. Uh, dip it in the paint. I'm just going to go into the middle of that tractor wheel just to make it nice and neat. Before I show you though, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to get some more paint on the small round end and I'm going to put it in the middle of the big tractor tyre. Wipe my hands because they're getting quite messy again. And now you can see we have a big tractor tyre and a little tractor tyre. The big tractor tyre has a bit inside it, which you would see on a tractor. But I'm just going to do one more thing. So I've got my paintbrush here that was red a few minutes ago. I've just washed that off. Drying it on my kitchen towel. Okay, using the, the end this time, we're going to use the main part again. So I do need that to be clean. Um, but I'm going to dip this in the tyre colour again, so the end of my brush, dip it into my, my grey tyre colour. And I'm just going to do a little spot in the middle of each of my tractor tyres. Wipe the end off my brush. And you can see then, we've got the little spot in the middle. Okay, now probably got some bits lying around from when we cut up the tractor body okay so I've just got a bit here all I'm going to do because we've got a little bit of uh, texture for the radiator well it's probably not the radiator grill but you have them um, you have sometimes patterns on the side and holes through the side of of a, a tractor body um, like that so I'm just going to make some of those so I've just got a little bit of folded toilet tube left over from cutting out the tractor body and I'm going to use the same colour again as I used with um, with the tyres okay I'm just dipping into that and I'm just going to go on my tractor body I'm just going to go one two three a little bit more, one, two, and that's just giving it a little bit of, bit of something on the body there. You don't have to do that, but 
I thought it looked quite good when I did my first one anyway. Okay, so now let's do a cloud. This is quite simple because for the cloud, all we're doing is we're just using a plain toilet roll tube because you can see that's just made of lots of circles. All right, so it is a rain cloud, so I've got some grey. I'm going to dip my my tube into make sure I've got lots and lots of paint on the end of that all right you can see there's paint on there and I'm just gonna kind of do quite a few circles in there just oops I've just splattered my paper that's something you have to be careful if you've got too much paint then it will drop often it can drop onto your paper and then you have bits that you didn't want but um, never mind it's all part of the texture and character so we won't worry too much and can you see my clouds building up now so I'm just going to do a few more of those okay I think that'll do I think that looks all right. I have got my rain cloud. But we need some rain, don't we? Because it is raining on my picture. So, do you remember when we made that small tube and we cut it in half? This is the other half. Now, what shape is a raindrop? Do you think a raindrop is something like that sort of shape? I think so. I think for the purpose of this, that is exactly what a raindrop looks like. So just like that, I've squeezed it, I've pinched it so that you've got a raindrop shape. And this time I've got my blue paint. Okay, I've already used that for the sun's eyes, haven't I? And now I'm going to use it for my raindrops. So I'm just going to print with this a few raindrops. I'm not going to do too many, but if you want to do lots, you can. I'll tell you what, when you get sunshine and you get rain, do you know what else you often get? You might get a rainbow. Now, I'm not going to do a rainbow today, but that could be something that you could figure out, couldn't you? You could maybe put a rainbow on it. Okay, so there we are, I'll show you. There is my raindrops. There are my raindrops, there we go, right. So now I'm gonna do a flower and what I'm gonna to do to save time is I'm gonna use my sunshine again. You can cut a new flower if you want to, but for me, this is the one. Okay, and I'm gonna do it pink. So I've got some pink on here, so I'm going to pick up lots of lovely pink onto my what is now a flower that was a sunshine. I'm going to print that down on here. Once again, remember to push down all of those bits so that all of that lovely paint transfers onto the paper. Up it comes and you can see the beginning of a flower. We all know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to get the round end and I'm going to put a circle in the middle just to define it a little bit more. My goodness, I'm getting all sorts of mess and fingerprints and smudges all over my paper, but you're not going to get that because you're going to take your time and probably do this afterwards and do it much better. <clears throat> okay. So you can see my flower here has a middle bit on it. So it's got pink petals and then it's got orange petals. Now, do you recognise that? Do you think I've made something that looks the same as that? I have, haven't I? Because I've made my front tractor tyre and it looks very similar. So how about we just take our tractor tyre, our little mini tractor tyre. I'm just going to blot off the paint a little bit all right because we don't want the black in the middle or dark gray as it is okay 
and I'm going to dip it in my orange, my orange paint. Okay, so there we have orange middle of flower and I'm now putting that down into the middle of the flower. Push, 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 push all the way around, lift off. And before I show you, I'm going to do that little trick again. I'm going to get my end of my paintbrush. And I'm going to put a little spot in the middle of the flower just to finish it off. Oh, I know what else I could do. I could put my round, plain round end of this little one in the middle as well. Just to give that a bit extra. Very splashy, very splashy. But there we are, we have, we have the middle of a flower. Okay. Now we need a leaf, don't we? We need some leaves and we need a stalk. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get another loo roll. Okay, another toilet roll tube. This time, you need to see here, can you see my leaves? So you've got the little bit in the middle, which is called the vein of the leaf, the little line in the middle. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to fold my, you must use a whole tube for this, and you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to push down the middle, and I'm going to bend my toilet tube inwards. It's a little bit tricky, again, you might need a grown-up to help. So, so far it looks like that. Then I'm going to squish it a little bit more along, along there, okay, so that we've got, got that going on like that. And then I'm actually just going to squish it down the other side as well, so that we end up with something that looks like that, okay. Now, we get the tape again because we don't want it to undo itself. Then you have a heart. You can print hearts if you want to. That's another one. I might do a little, a little post about what shapes you can make from the end of your, end of your toilet tubes by Ben. You can make all sorts. You can make squares and stars and flowers, leaves, obviously. Okay, so we've got a leaf here. There we go, look at that. That's our leaf shape. Okay, and I've got some nice green here. So I'm just gonna do the same again. I'm dipping it into, dipping it into my green paint. Okay, and then I am going to print it. Oops, nearly dropped it in it. All right, and I'm gonna do a second one. Need two leaves on this one. There we go. Two leaves. We need a stalk though, don't we? But you know, the magic thing about this is that it's a leaf on the end. It's a stalk on the side. So, I'm going to dip the edge into my green paint. can see I've got my green line there. All right, and I'm going to put that down. And just as if by magic, I have a stalk on my flower. How about that? Right, one last thing, and that's the grass. Now, I've got a spare bit of loo roll tube here again. Okay, now all I'm going to do with this, I'm going to get my scissors again. I'm just going to cut some zigzags into it. Okay, pull them out. All right, there we go. Got the zigzags. All right, now paintbrush, we need it again. You see, I told you I cleaned it for a reason, didn't I? Now I'm going to pick up some of my green paint and I'm going to paint it on, okay? Alright, 
and there we have green grass and I'm going to put that down under my flower pressing down on all of those spikes just to make sure that the colour has transferred okay and there you have some grass and very quickly do that again One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blades of grass on this. And I'm going to do it again. <laughs> We're going to go all the way along. If you're using a kitchen roll tube or a wrapping paper tube, you will do very well with this because you'll be able to do lots of blades of grass on a really long section, which will be great. But I've probably should have done that shouldn't I because I've got one sitting next to me but no I'm doing it all with the loo rolls and there we have it I'm going to stop I'm not going to go all the way to the end because I think you've watched me for long enough but there I have some grass coming up okay so you can see with this one that my grass is all slightly different lengths and that looks quite nice so you might want to be a little bit more creative with that but that is how you print with toilet roll tubes. So you go off and maybe do the same or maybe create your own and you can show me and you can post it uh, onto my Facebook page, which is Amelia Bowman or my Instagram page, which is also Amelia Bowman. Or you can email it to me, and that is amy, A-M-Y, at ameliabowman.co.uk. I would love to see what you come up with, okay? All right, just remember, grown-ups, with Facebook and Instagram, uh, if you tag me and you've got a private account, I won't be able to see it, okay? So you do need to send it to me by message or on Facebook, you can post it directly onto my page. So I look forward to seeing what you've come up with. And I hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope you have lots of fun printing with your toilet roll tubes. Okay. Bye-bye. See you soon.